Welcome back to This Morning. Now, we've all fantasised about winning the lottery, but as the BBC's hit drama show The Syndicate showed, sometimes is a case of more money, more problems. Yeah, uh, well, now that the brilliant series has been adapted into a stage show and here to tell us all about it are the show's director, Gaynor Faye, and one of its stars, Brooke Vincent. Good morning to you both. Good morning to you. First of all... How was Maya, the little kid? Wasn't she fantastic? Oh, absolutely. Did she melt you? God. Absolutely. We were over there listening and we were going, oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Incredible. Incredible. Um, Gainer, for anybody that doesn't know yes. the plot of the syndicate, can you give us a brief outline? I know it's hard, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, the brief outline is that it's about five um, supermarket workers who, um, yeah, they, they form a syndicate together. They're on the breadline. They've each got their own issues going on. You know, they need money or. Some, you know, something, they've got big secrets going on in their lives. Um, and then, yeah, they win the lottery. And, um, yeah, and their life changes. But like you say, you know, it's, it's not always a great thing to win the lottery. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not so good. You have to be careful what you wish for. And they're all having their own little storylines with yes. winning the lottery. So yeah. there's lo lots of stories within a story. Lots of stories. And, it's, and it centres around two brothers. And, um, yeah, they're, they're kind of very different characters. And there's one that's a bit of a bad apple in there. Oh, you need a bad apple. <laughs> yeah. That's where the juicy but stuff comes from. Absolutely, right? yeah. So, um, yeah, it's great. And it's fun, it's warm. It's a typical K melodrama, which and is full of humour and warmth, Aww. but also a lot of, you know, big drama going on. <laughs> Extra meaningful for you, because it was written by your mum just before yeah. she passed as well, and our condolences. I know it's not Thank that you. long ago. And you're directing the show is your first as well. So double bubble drama for you, yeah. <laughs> double we're bubble excited, drama. We're excited. Yeah. To we're really it. excited, yeah. No, it's... Um, I was kind of... I've been with The Syndicate since the beginning, you know, when it when it was formed as a TV show, because um, I was the script editor on it. So I, I've, I've kind of been there from the embryonic stage. And so to see it through and also to, you know, when the, with the theatrical version, I was there for the workshops when we, when we were going to put it on a couple of years ago and I was going to assist, assist my mum on it. Um, but now, obviously, I'm doing it on my own in her memory and also, you know, it's what she wanted, so we really want to get behind her and yeah. make it a great show. And, and Brooke, what's your character in that? Oh, <laughs> well, um, so I play Amy. I play the girlfriend of one of the brothers. The um, the yeah, <laughs> but I'm really excited. It's a character that I've never played before and she's nothing like me. She's very girly. Um, she's all about the flash. She wants the money and the big house and the big cars and... Yeah, it's really exciting. I, I was reading it when I obviously went for the audition. I was like, I like her. I'd love to play her. <laughs> so, yeah, I, but when I got it, I was like, it's like I won the lottery. I was like, yes, great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the audition, because you're old pals from Soapland, right? So, you, But you still have to yeah. audition. No mates rates around here. Oh, no. 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 no, we had a five-minute catch-up, and then it was like, <laughs> OK. Right, So directing. let's do the lines. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was nice, wasn't Brooke it? It was absolutely brilliant. You know, we've known each other for a long time uh, through charity, um, When You Wish Upon a Star, that we're yeah. both the patrons of. Um, and and so, yeah, it, Brooke, when, when I was thinking about casting it, um, Brooke I just immediately went, She'll be brilliant. Let's get her in. And um, yeah, we chatted for a bit, and then yeah. Brooke t became Amy, like literally overnight. <laughs> well, instantly, yeah. <laughs> so you both worked on Corrie, but you you never actually met on Corrie. No, no, no. no I think I'd gone. Hadn't yeah. I, when yeah. you came, yeah. And and Brooke, how different is the stage to you know oh. Corrie Land, you know Soap Land? I mean, it's. I think obviously. Well, you'll know, like, live TV, you get no second chances. Like, yeah. it's literally that. Like, you've just got to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. um, whereas, obviously, back on Korean and TV, it's a little bit like, oh, you, your hair was just in your face, can we just go again? And, like, it's completely a different skill set. But I'm just so excited. I'm so, so excited. A, a lot of actors come in yeah. and, and the sofa and they say they, they love the stage because it kind of resets them a little bit, yeah. reminds them what it's all yeah. about. Did you find that? Are you finding that? I always say, like, with stage, I, I did a play when I was younger, but... With stage, I feel like it's it's a feeling that you get. It's like that buzz and like your adrenaline's rushing and you almost become mindful of everything that's going on around you, whether they're your lines or they're not, and you can hear if something's off. But I always remember um, I was taught by David Johnson, who was like a, a, a big like teacher in the North, and he kind of said, whatever happens, just keep going. You just keep <laughs> going. If it's a mistake, only you know. I'm like, so but true. I'm on the that floor so on the true. back. Get up and just act <laughs> as if it was meant to happen. <laughs> so, yeah. I remember somebody once putting, um, they went to put a coat on a, clothes, a coat peg, and um, in the rehearsals they'd been doing it, and then they forgot to put a hook on the stage, <laughs> and they actually went and put the hook, the coat on, the, and it dropped to the floor, and they just carried on. <laughs> Bless you. you just need to keep going. Yeah. 
whatever. How are you with learning the lines? Because these are big chunks of lines that you're doing again and again and again. Yeah. And with Corey, you sort of learn your lines and then they're out the window, aren't they? So Yeah, so it's obviously, again, different skill set, but we're touring. So we're literally touring from, like, April to July. Yeah. So every night we're going to be, like, just going over it. And I think it's not necessarily going to be the lines. I think it's more of, like, keeping it fresh. Yeah. Because I always remember when I've done things in the past or, like, if I was, like... Mary and Joseph when I was Mary, like, and my parents come on different days, I'd be like, can I do anything different tomorrow? <laughs> you know, like, it's finding, like, the newness in it, obviously, when you've, when you've been performing it for so long. Mm. So it's more a case of that, really. And I think, mm. obviously, it's going to be amazing yeah. having Gaynor with us and just keeping us all in check. And keeping you calm, and it's mm, helpful yeah, when the show's yeah. director has been studying Buddhism <laughs> yeah. Yeah. for over two decades. Absolutely. Uh, you bring it all into your workplace, do I you? I do. I definitely say Namya Harengekyo before I ever go on stage. Oh, that's you want, ritual. You want, you want. Namya Harengekyo. Okay, so. I chant Namya Harengekyo. Okay, that's your chant? That's what we chant, yeah. So I, I've been a Buddhist for nearly 30 years. Okay. And um, yeah, so I'm. Yeah, it's all about raising your life state. Happiness for me and everyone else. This is real Josie Gibson territory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> you, you have got very calm and influence, yet, but you did train as a counsellor, didn't you? I did, yes, in lockdown. Yeah, I kind of realised that lockdown, uh, the pandemic was going to cause a lot of yeah. mental health issues with people, and myself included. And, um, and I've got, obviously got two young uh, kids. They're not young anymore. They're 19 and 22. However, everybody's been affected by it. Yeah. And I just thought, I really need to know the tools and learn the tools so that I can actually give them to my kids and help myself get through this and, and other people. And um, I loved it. Yeah, I really loved it. How nice is it, you know, to have brought this to the stage after everything we went through in lockdown and you've brought such a terrific show yeah. to the stage and people can actually go out, come That's and it. watch something yeah. like this. It was, uh, it's so important to support the arts because theatres are really, you know, dying because people aren't going out to the theatre through nerves, but it's such a safe place. It's a, a great night out. It's a wonderful, you know, opportunity to get a syndicate together and come out and see with all your mates and just enjoy it, you know. I love theatre. I was at theatre last night, went to see Hades Town, which was incredible. And just to see all the people just mm. enjoying live theatre was fantastic. So, yeah, I'm Richmond really excited. Richmond Theatre. Gorgeous theatre, yeah. right? April the 11th. But you've kind of done all the promo stuff now. There's no getting out of it now. <laughs> We've got to do it. We've got to do it. And we travel all around the country in these amazing yeah. theatres. Um, so. Do you know who was sitting there not so long ago? Your cousin, Ellie Leach, after we oh, Strictly. Bless. Yeah. She's a dude. Yeah. She's, she's cute, isn't she? We yeah. love her. She's really good. She, I'm actually seeing her tonight, and she's come to London. She's come and moved to London for a little bit. So I'm like, oh. oh. It's like, we're, like she's gone off to uni. <laughs> I've come to see her. Would you ever do Strictly? Oh, God, no, I can't now, can I? No. She, she won. I'd be like, <laughs> probably 10. I'd be, like, I'd be like the failure. Yeah, Christmas um, be awkward. But, yeah, she, she just did amazing. <laughs> it was yeah. amazing to watch. It was. Um, and you get bored of saying how proud you are of someone, so I was like, try to word it in different ways. I was like, Aww. well done. You did really well this week. But, yeah, she did amazing. But she's amazing. such a lovely girl as well, so yeah. it's always wonderful to see great things happen to yeah. good people. Yeah. Yeah. As is, what, Vito's such a brilliant bloke as well. He's yeah. Track, yeah. yeah. What a fabulous fella. Um, we can't wait for it to start. We want to come and watch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Please, can. Tom, yeah, you've great. got an invite. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah, you very lovely. much. Then Does that mean pray. we have to pay for the tickets, though? Um, <laughs> just saying. We'll, we'll see. We'll, this we'll, is we'll the talk boss. later. We'll talk later. <laughs> two, for, two for one. Two for one, maybe. April 11th. Yes, at Richmond. You've done your mum so proud, Gaynor. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.